Hey there, welcome to another episode of Dear Blocko. Saucer Nugget asks, Dear Blocko, what would happen if the moon just like, left. Well, that wouldn't be right. But seriously, great question. Let's imagine it actually happened last night. You went to bed, said, good night, moon, and when you woke up in the middle of the night to drain the main vein, poof, that moon gone. The very first thing we notice is the darkness. Without the moon reflecting sunlight, nights would be a lot darker. Cities wouldn't feel much different with all their artificial light, but rural areas would be pitch black. That's great if you're a bat, owl, or large predator that thrives in darkness but uh, less great if you're an animal or human trying not to become the snack choice for something bigger than you with glowy eyes. After about a week, the oceans would start to change. Normally, the moon's gravity pulls on Earth's water, creating tides. Without it, tides would shrink to about one-third of their usual size, since only the sun would be left tugging at our oceans. That means weaker waves. That means less nutrient mixing. And that also means coastal ecosystems beginning to fail. Bad news. This would also disrupt many marine animals that rely on tides to reproduce, like horseshoe crabs, grunion fish, and corals. With weaker or missing signals, some species could struggle or even face extinction. And since nearly three quarters of the world's population lives within 31 miles of the ocean, the collapse of these food chains could devastate coastal fisheries, cutting off vital sources of food and income for, well, billions of people. Have we thanked the moon recently? <laughs> Thank you, moon. Don't leave them, please. Anyway, all of this is definitely not good, but it doesn't stop there. After a year, humans would start noticing bigger problems. The moon isn't just about tides. It also stabilizes Earth's tilt at about 23.5 degrees. Without its steadying pull, Earth's axis would begin to wobble possibly wobbling by 20 to 60 degrees, depending on its rotation speed and other conditions. That would mean regions of the planet might spend months angled almost directly at the sun, baking into desert-like extremes, while others are massed in near darkness and deep cold. Civilizations in such a world would face intense climate swings, forcing mass migrations and sparking conflicts over scarce resources. Whew, my man, my moon. Have I told you how good you look? If we're still around thousands of years later, climate instability could completely reshape life on Earth. The biosphere as we know it might collapse entirely. So let's be really, really nice to the moon, because if that moon is gone, so are we probably. And now for a question about me and my world. OCP Minion asks, Dear Blocko, what's the weirdest thing happening in your world right now? Oh, well, that giant portal from the last episode is still here, and now it's spitting real-world stuff into my front yard. I checked, and it's all coming from what I'm calling the in-between, which is like the halfway point between your world and mine. Normally, real-world things go through the blockometric reformatron, as one learns in first grade here. Qbot usually helps run the in-between, but he's gone MIA. I hope they're all right. Anyway, in order to get to the root of the problem, we're sending someone in to see what's going on. And by someone, I mean Triangle Bob, because he's already tied himself to a rope. Okay, Bobbert, you ready? Tell me what you see, and more importantly, what does it smell like? What the? Oh, Triangle Bob, Tr Triangle Bob, um, uh, uh-oh. Well, that's not good. <clears throat> um, animator, we got a code Bob. Animator, hello. Where is everybody? Well, I'm sure that's not a problem. So, do you have a question about your world or my world? Let me know in the comments below right now. Your question could become a future video. Want to watch even more Life Noggin? Click here to watch this video or here to watch this video YouTube thinks you'll like. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.